For the past two football seasons, the traveling trophy known as Babe's Bell has been situated in Brainerd's weight room, a reminder of their two-game win streak over rival Bemidji. But both victories came at home for the Warriors, and this year the battle shifts north to the Lumberjacks' home turf, where they have beaten the neighbors to the south eight straight times dating back to 2010. Could Brainerd break the streak tonight and retain the trophy for the third year in a row, or would Bemidji keep it alive and take back Babe's Bell? First play from scrimmage for Brainerd. Looks like Ty Nelson handoff to Jaden Barnum, but he fools the cameraman and the defense. Isaac Vanek on the receiving end of an 80-yard touchdown puts Brainerd up 7-0. The ensuing drive, Lumberjacks down to the 8. They answer with an Ephraim Boucher touchdown. That's going to knock the game at 7. Now, this is where things got a little wild on the Warriors' second play from scrimmage. Nelson running speed option, pitch hits the turf, and the Jacks take over just outside the red zone. But then Bemidji, from the two, they put the ball in the deck as well. Waylon Larson falls on it for the Warriors, and they're still tied at seven. In the second quarter, though, after a Brainerd field goal, Owen Vandermeer goes to the air, finds his favorite target, Alec Newby. Incredible grab. It would lead to an Owen Fraser touchdown. Lumberjacks lead 14-10 at the half. In the third quarter, Dawson to Gelder takes the pitch from 50 yards out, and he's going to take it all the way to the house. The ensuing drive, he would also have a 91-yard touchdown, 365 yards on the ground, and there's the Jacks celebrating as they hold off Brainerd to take the bell 28-22. to Your final, closer than everybody expected, but hey, it's a rivalry game, and that's exactly what you're going to get. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.